This year, the buzzword is most definitely CD. Three systems are out now, Philips CDI, Commodore CD-TV, and PC CD-ROM. But with Sega's Mega CD-ROM coming out next month, some of you may be wondering what the whole malarkey is about. Well, we've got Les Crane, chairman of Software Toolworks, one of the pioneers of CD software, to tell us exactly what it's about. When you have a disk-based system, you're storing the material that you want to store, the data, on a magnetic medium, like a tape or a floppy disk, and the space is extremely limited. When you're using CD, you're using a, an actual laser light to read the bits and bytes of information off a laser disk, and the amount of data, information that can be stored is thousands of times greater. Okay, here's the deal. CD-ROM means read-only memory, so when you put a CD-ROM player in your machine, all you can do is read off of that disk, but you can't write to it. In other words, you can't interact with it. Now, Philips has their CDI system, which is CD interactive, so that you can be involved to a certain degree with the CD-ROM disk. Didn't miss by much. The Commodore version of that is called CD-TV. You could theoretically have a movie, for example, in which there would be several different endings, and you could get to play a part in the movie and choose which ending you wanted to go for. But what about the games themselves? If you can imagine that an old floppy disk or a, or a cartridge hey, you that you put in the old Sega or the old Nintendo system held maybe a page worth of material, and a CD disk holds a library's worth of material, if you're playing an adventure game, can you imagine how many thousands of rooms and thousands of characters and the graphics and the sound and the full motion video pictures that can be put on those games? They're going to be a heck of a lot more fun to play. It's all just a game. <laughs> but will the games be any good? This all looks incredibly enticing, but I must admit, up till now, all the CD games I've seen have been a little bit ropey. The potential's certainly there. Let's hope they use it.